Why is Levi so short? This Attack on Titan theory will definitely surprise you. So what's up guys, Fox in here. Today let's focus on humanity's strongest soldier, Levi. The guy comes in at 5 feet 3 inches or 160 centimeters. Levi is supposed to be from the bloodline that directly used to serve the king. Mikasa is included in that, although at 15, she's much taller. Keep in mind that both of them are half Ackerman. And even if you look at Kenny, who should be full Ackerman, this guy towers over Annie at over 6 feet tall. So what's the deal with Levi? Was he just unlucky with the gene lottery? I don't think so, there's gotta be more to this. Let's first look at the obvious possible reason. You know about how Levi grew up in the underground. He was basically like the walking dead when Kenny found him. There's a couple key takeaways from this. The first has to do with Levi's situation growing up. He was living underground with his prostitute mother. It's pretty easy to see that they were hurting for money. A lack of nutritious food should have largely impacted Levi growing up. The second key thing was the living situation underground. Notice that these guys are in constant darkness. Sure, they got some sunlight, but it's very minimal. This could have led Levi to have a possible lack of vitamin D. A vitamin D deficiency has been linked to stunted growth in kids. In general, this plays a role in bone health overall. You even heard in Levi's No Regret series about how it's known that the lack of sunlight causes people's legs to go bad. So there you have it. An unfortunate combo of a poor diet and lack of sunlight prevented Levi from reaching his otherwise full potential. Theory over, period. But wait, I actually think there's a third piece missing to this, this one being the most important. If a poor diet and no sunlight were all that caused issues for Levi, why aren't there a lot more people like this in the underground? It's hard to tell exactly by the anime series, but if you do check out the manga version of this, no one else seems to be suffering from this in the underground. In fact, almost everyone is much bigger. Besides, keep in mind that Levi and his group specifically were some of the few that were able to get some sunlight. Anyway, here's the real reason of why Levi is so small. This goes back to Levi being an Ackerman, which you know are a subproduct of Titan science. What this fully means right now is unknown, but this is where the theory comes in. Ackerman like Mikasa and Levi could themselves be super soldiers from being part Titan. The reason Levi is so short is due to this, and there's actually some evidence for this. Let me explain. As I've been rereading the Attack on Titan manga, this stood out. It was this little interaction between Mikasa and Eren as they were getting out of their cell. I'm sure they were locked up for a short time, maybe a week, or at most a month. Out of the three, Mikasa looked totally like a zombie. Apparently she even lost some weight. You do know that this is after finding out about Eren's eventual death. But Eren does point out about how Mikasa has had plenty to eat. So why is Mikasa looking so sick? and even lost some weight. The reason is because she's part Titan. Mikasa very much needs sunlight. Perhaps her Ackerman body is able to turn sunlight into energy. Mikasa being out of the sun for an extended period of time just strained her. Poor little flower. Now look back at Levi. Imagine living under limited sunlight for all your childhood. Levi isn't short because he was lacking proper food or simply having a normal vitamin D deficiency. Levi is an Ackerman that is part Titan. The poor guy was starving for some consistent sunlight. Unfortunately, Levi had no way of knowing about this. That without some sun juices, he was depriving his body out of some important substance. But hey, that's just an Attack on Titan theory. Now let me hear from you, let me know your own thoughts. What do you think about this Ackerman Titan theory? Are the Ackerman really just human-sized titans? Or maybe you got an even more crazier theory? Definitely let me know. Please be sure to give this a colossal thumbs up and subscribe especially if you enjoy these Attack on Titan theory videos. If you're looking for more stuff to watch, check out my past video on Annie and Mikasa, and I'll see you guys later.